Sith infiltrators. We are now certain that the Sith Empire began laying the groundwork for its return as far back as the Jedi Civil War. In fact, it's clear that the origins of the Jedi Civil War itself were not as simple as we once believed. The Sith Emperor's first representatives to return to Republic space are well-known names. Darth Revan and Darth Malak. Revan is remembered now as a legend, a great hero of the Jedi Order. But that was only after his redemption. Revan and Malak first rebelled against the Jedi Council by ignoring orders and assisting the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. Revan's success in defeating the Mandalorians caused the Council to question its orders. But none realized how far Revan had already fallen. After their crushing victory on Malachor V, Revan and Malak chased the Mandalorians into deep space. It was there on Drum and Kos that they encountered another enemy entirely. The Sith Empire Reborn. We know nothing of what transpired when Revan and Malak met the Sith Emperor. One thing is certain, when they returned, they did so on behalf of their new Dark Master. The fall of Revan and Malak to the Dark Side was complete. The Emperor sent them back to the Republic to make preparations for a full-scale Sith invasion. Their mission was to recover the maps leading to the ancient Star Forge constructed by the Rakata more than 25 centuries ago. With the Star Forge, the Emperor planned to accelerate the construction of the new Sith Armada. He would exact his vengeance against the Jedi and the Republic centuries ahead of schedule. The ambitions of Darth Revan and Malak grew quickly, though. As they drew closer to the Star Forge, the two Sith Lords began to have visions of their own empire. Fortunately for the Republic, Malik's thirst for power drove him to betray his master. He attacked Revan's ship and left his fallen master for dead. The Jedi found Revan wounded and unconscious. After much debate, the Council made a controversial decision to erase Revan's memory and retrain him as a Jedi. Working with Jedi Master Bashila Shan, Revan recovered his strength. He then rescued the Republic and defeated his former apprentice. The Jedi Civil War was over, the Star Forge destroyed, and Revan not only redeemed, but celebrated as a hero. Deep in Revan's lost memories, however, hid the knowledge of a lurking menace far greater than Darth Malak. Indeed, the Emperor's plan to accelerate his return was thwarted, but the construction of the Sith Armada continued. It would only be a matter of time. With the war over, Revan returned to deep space in search of the great evil. What happened after that is unknown. Though Revan's ultimate fate remains a mystery, we have learned much about the events that preceded his fall. The Mandalorian Wars will be the subject of my next report.